So earlier in geography, I taught you about the planet Earth. And today I would like to introduce you about the second step of the our planet Earth. And that second step is the second chapter two. And that is latitudes and longitudes. That is lati t u d e s and latitudes and longitudes. To understand the latitudes and longitudes, we have to understand few theories, few facts, and uh, what these latitude and longitudes are. These are nothing in word word. In one word, these are nothing. These are only the grid. Grid means if this is earth, this is called grid. This is the grid. This grid is known as latitudes and longitudes. The grid system of the earth is the latitude and longitude. The what is the concept of latitude? Main latitudes, their location, their degrees, parallel of the latitude, and their uses. Concept of the longitudes with the Greenwich Mean Time GMT and the International Date Line Ideal Eastern and Western Hemispheres of the Total Earth, and uh, using the latitude and longitude to find the location, calculation of time uh, like GMT for India. You have seen the Calcutta and Delhi, two different places. When you set up a new window in your computer, at that time they ask your time zone. That is known as the time zone. Now the great circle are and their uses. All these things we will study today, and this is going to be very much important for you to increase knowledge. And of course, you will maximize your percentage in examinations. Now, first, the shape of the Earth and its hemispheres. What is the shape shape of the Earth? Now we have seen it has the two hemispheres. This is northern hemisphere, the topmost part, and this is the southern hemisphere, bottommost part. And they are there is a western hemisphere, WH, western hemisphere, and the most important is the eastern and western hemispheres, east and west, all these things. Northern Northern Hemispheres and uh, sometimes the Southern Hemisphere, Western Hemispheres. Whatever this line goes from this hemisphere to here, Eastern Hemispheres. Okay, this is called as the equator. This is called. Equator means it divide Earth in the equal halves. Therefore, it is known the equator. It equates in the equal parts to the Earth, so it is called the equator. So, Earth's spherical shape is the best represented by a globe. Globe. This is it. The Earth is flattened at the poles. These Flattened and are called as the poles, North Pole and South Pole, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, and the other poles, North Pole, South Pole, and equators. Now, the centrifugal force and the gravity are responsible for this shape. What is responsible? The centripetal force. 
centripetal force. Sometimes this may be called the centrifugal force. Centrifugal force. Centripetal force. And the gravity are responsible for its shape. And the gravity. They are responsible for its shape. What is the centripetal force? Suppose this is at Earth. It pulls everything towards its center. The force by which any object on the surface of the earth is pulled towards its center is called the centripetal force or the centrifugal force. Now, it is an oblate spheroid in shape and is called the geoid. This is oblate spheroid. As this is a geo geological object, so this is not the geoid. G-E-O-I-D. Geoid is oblate spheroid. Oblate is spheroid. S P H E R O I D. Oblate is spheroid. Spheroid means sphere, means gola. But spheroid looks like a sphere. Oblate means like an egg, not exactly sphere. Oblate is spheroid. This is a long word. For this, a small word is here. That is geoid. Oblate is spheroid. It's also known as geoid. The Earth is the only planet with life on it with a vast equatorial circumference of approximately 40,075 kilometers. 40,075 kilometers. This is the perimeter of Earth. Perimeter of Earth or the circumference because the total length of this part. So from here, you will start measuring its length. Then this length is 40,000 kilometers. 40,000 kilometers is the length of its perimeter or the outer surface. And to find the exact location of the place on which the globe, on the globe, uh, one has to use a map with a network of the parallel of the latitude and longitudes known as the Earth grid. If you want to know the exact position of yours and you are standing up over here, at that time you have known as the latitude and longitude, everything. Then we can easily find out. And with these two, we should know the exact degree where you are, exact location. So these, there are a lot of methods too. To understand or to locate any person or any place, we should understand the grid nature of the earth. The earth is divided into the four hemispheres. The region north and south of the equator, zero degree, north and south, zero degree, okay, and are called the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere respectively. These are considered to be the normal zero degree. But to understand it, we have to first understand the nature of the diagram we will make. East, West, North, South, Center part. North, West, East, West, North, South, North, West, North, East, South, East, South, West. Okay. This Eastern part is always considered as 90 degrees. 45 degrees. 90 degrees. North is the 45 degrees. This is at 45, 135 degrees. At 90, 45 degrees in it, 135 degrees. And again, 145 in it, how much? 180 degrees. Add 45 in it. How much? 225. Add 45 in it. How much? 270. 
and 45 minute how much 315 degree at 45 minute 360 degree it means from here it is origin from here it is 45 degree it is 45 means every part is divided in the 45 degree Equally, when we will calculate it, it will be 360 degree. Okay. Now, what happens? The region east and west of the prime meridian, east and west of the prime meridian, which is a straight line, it is 180 degree. Longitude is called the eastern hemisphere this is called the eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. When we or we have to make arrow in it for its better representation or better evaluation, we have to put an arrow in between these two. The four main directions have come east west, north, and south. As east, west, north, and south are the main directions, they together known as the news, N-E-W-S. Whatever news you see on TV or mobile, those, the full form of that news is north, east, west, and south. Means from the every direction, whatever you are getting is called news. This term news has been originated by the, this geographical arrangement of earth, this structure. And after that, what we have seen that the earth grid system, a network of latitudes and the longitudes to find the location on the globe, how you will find it. A complete network of the parallels of the latitude and the meridians of the longitude drawn on the map of the globe called the earth grid whatever we have drawn over here this is called the earth grid this straight line is always called the equator always and to better understand the behavior of pattern i have to remove it and then tell you the exact and the best location remember if you will understand here, then you will be a knowledgeable person. Otherwise, it is very much difficult for you to understand this diagram I am going to make over here. Because teachers never are not that much serious as they must be. Because every year they teach the same thing so that they get bored every year. A student comes every year, a student goes. The same thing remains with us in the same book, same questions, same classroom, same board, but only the difference is the different students. Their mentality is our same. What happens thereafter? They become bored. They become sadistic. And when any child uh, and then the child stand up and ask for children, this is totally new, but for them this is not new. But when any child is stand up in the class and ask any question, ah, the one they shout from the child, come on, <laughs> how dare you to ask me such as a question? Just sit down. And again, if I, you will stand up, I will slap on your face. So, then how a student will understand? So keep your mind. Over here, now I am going to define you a very good part of the geography. This is an art. Okay, this is looking like a melon. Art is looking like santra, nimbu, tarbuj, anything it is looking like. So I have to remove this small bunch. It is resembling it like a nimbu. Now this is an earth. Now, see, 
make a hat like this like now this is a pole here the direction is north south east and west so north pole n o r t s north pole this is south and south pole this is not pole a danda like this this is a pole understand polar end pole we will say it 90 degree north remember interesting thing starts here this we will say it 90 degree 90 degree of n this is 90 degree north this is 90 degree south okay so where we will mention it we will mention it here 90 degree north and 90 degree south first geographical arrangement then draw a dotted straight line okay this is a dotted straight line this is not exact accurate but this this is a darker straight line this is hypothetical whatever is dotted is hypothetical this is a hypothetical straight line this is a horizontal line leave it as it is now what will we do the place where they both are meeting together it is called zero degree zero degree and one line draw from here with it one line draw from here with it center zero degree this east line is 10 degree where it is going towards east towards west this point is called 10 degree east and this point will be known as this is the zero degree 10 degree east this is 10 degree west got it now this much you are well known 10 degree east east line is 10 degree east now this is straight line give it a name equator this is called equator south pole 90 degree this degree now this will turn like this one line will turn outside one line will turn this side and what will happen for that one line this this more turning it like this this is the second line this is the first line this this was 10 degree this will be 15 degree the second line will be towards the north 30 degree north and this second line 30 degree south the first line was 10 degree its first line will be the 15 degree second line will be 30 degree north second line towards the south 30 degree south okay so this is called the north latitude north latitude this is called south latitude this is the southern latitude this is the northern latitude this is called latitude how you remember it late gayi hai line लेट गई खड़ी हो गई लेट गई लाइन लेट गई तो लेटीट्यूड 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 लेटी लाइन तो दिस इज कॉल्ड लेटीट्यूड 
lately line now you will if this is latitude this is the longitude of course the longitude so you only remember latitude late gayi but remember one thing they are divided according 10 degree 10 degree 10 degree and 10 degree but this is divided by 15 degree 15 degree 15 degree 15 degree okay now this much structure is clear in front of you what will happen i am going to make one more line one more line 30 degree plus 15 45 degree plus 15 this is 60 degree north 60 degree north this is it this is it 60 degree south now this diagram is no more attention for you no more a complication for any of this to be okay now this is the grid system you have come to know about the latitude and longitude latitude and longitude okay this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 as this was northern latitude southern latitude this is the eastern longitude and western longitude this is eastern e a s t e r n this was latitude this is the longitude long e t this is the longitude as this is in the eastern side so this is called the eastern longitude and this is the western side so this is called the western longitude eastern longitude western longitude what is in front of us today this is a grid system this is a earth grid system which is made by the longitude and latitudes so i hope you have come to you have uh, had a good understand good under, understanding for this one now a complete network of the parallel latitudes and meridian of longitudes drawn on the map of the globe is called the earth grid system a complete representation of longitude and the latitude is known as the earth grid system now for example the gandhinagar is gujarat india is located suppose someone says gandhinagar capital gandhinagar its location is 23.19 degree 23 degree One two minute north and seventy two degree forty one minute east. This is the Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat, near Ahmedabad, Vadodara. Okay. now what happens it's too hot it means what does it mean it means from the eastern side this is from the eastern side if this is gandhi nagar from the eastern side this is it and from the western side this is it this is its exact location but remember the angle between these two always should be 90 degree where whatever position you are having suppose here this is your position a grid system will say from east this line means this must place from this south this is it from east you are this 
from west, you are this exact location. Okay, like this, we take out the locations of any person or any mobile. Now, the latitude. Now, see, you see acid rain in the earth, and earth is dissolving. Black hole. Oh my god. Bollywood <laughs> Good. Now, we will take a glance on latitude. L-A-T-I-T-U-D-E-S. L-A-T-I-T-U-D-E-S. Latitudes. Latitudes means horizontal lines. What we have studied. The latitude of a place in is the angular distance of the place north or south of the equator. North means upper side and south of the equator. What does it mean? Earth, equator, north, south. These are the lines towards the north and towards the south is called latitude. The latitude of a place is the angular distance. This is not a straight distance. Angular distance with angle. North or the south of the equator as measured from the center of the earth. From the center of the earth. This is the center of earth. Or you can say from the equator of the earth. The imaginary circular circum describing the earth around the center of the earth being equidistance from the poles and drawn through the center with the plane perpendicular to the axis is called the equator. Plane perpendicular to the axis is called the equator. Now, I will make a three-dimensional structure for this. Suppose this is a circle. This is a circular structure. From this side, you will see the center part like this. On the backward, you will see it like this. In the middle, I am drawing a straight line. This is the center part. I have just cut it into pieces. This is its our middle part. It's backward part. This is the topmost part. It's backward part. Now, this is called an equator. Equator. This is zero degree equator. This is zero degree equator. This is South Pole, 90 degree. South Pole, 90 degree south. Upper is North Pole, NP, 90 degree north. This is zero degree equator. This is a center part, central vertical line, hypothetical. Join this with the center, this, this with the center, this. 
this external part it is making 30 degrees this is the second line no huh? i just made that time no huh? the first time was 15 degree the second is 30 degree then this is 45 degree this is a 60 degree this 60 degree means with the center it is making 60 degree 30 degree means with the center it is making 30 degree this is with the center making 30 degree this is with the center making 60 degree like this all the poles so all the lines which are the latitude they from any point with the center makes the first line makes 15 degree second line 30 degree third line 45 degree fourth line 60 degree then we will constantly increase according to it the lines of the latitude are drawn parallel to the equator always the lines of latitude are drawn parallel to the equator these are parallel lines with the equator they all are drawn parallel to the equator the line of the latitude are drawn parallel to the equator in the circle and grow is smaller towards the pole as we go grow up go upward they will go smaller is why it is so because this they are not straight the earth is not straight as i am you are watching to me so they it is slightly circular is spherical so the, it seems that the lines are closer and closer in the large largest latitude and the nearly nearly a point at the poles the largest latitude means here near here this is the largest one because so latitude is nothing but the angle you cannot say that this is a straight line so largest number this is zero degree which is making the equator equator is also a latitude but this is zero degree so it is not a latitude latitude is an angle and here is no angle so equator cannot be latitude but it is a latitude because it is a horizontal line so who is latitude latitude is having only angle if there is no angle no latitude it means as it will move upward 1 degree 2 degree 30 degree 40 degree 90 degree the largest will be at the pole so largest latitude will be at the poles either in the upper side northern side or the downward side or southern side so latitude of the equator is 0 degree i said of the equator is 0 degree it is well mentioned here that of poles is 90 degree and 90 degree north and 90 degree south it measures either to the north or to the south equators are according to the specified north or south we can specify it like north or the south each latitude is an imaginary circle parallel to the equator every latitude is imaginary if it is imaginary it means nature has not created a straight line a horizontal line a vertical line this is we who has created it this is this is we who have created it because to understand art and find out any location now next part and that is these are called the parallels of the latitude these are everything is called the parallels of the latitude okay now isko saaf karo
तो लाइक दिस different type of the latitude and longitudes behavior we have seen all together there are 180 parallels and 1 degree interval that is 90 to the north equator and 90 to the south equator with while the equator is taken as 0 degree latitude and is the only great circle so if this is our This is taken as zero degree, known as equator. It is equator, and also great circle. It is also said that great, great circle. Now every latitude is of one degree, one degree, one degree, one degree. Like this, it will reach up to here at 90 degree. Means 90 equal parts, 90 equal parts of latitude towards the north, and 90 equal parts towards the south. 90 equal parts towards the south. So then, what? Bolo. Yeah. Ninety equal part towards the north. Ninety equal part towards the north. And ninety equal part towards the south. Ninety equal part towards the south. Each line is having one degree. Each line is having one degree. From the equator. From the equator. So it makes ninety equal lines. So it makes ninety equal lines. Each line with one degree is a ninety degree towards the pole, north pole. From the zero degree equator, ninety equal parts towards the north and ninety equal parts towards the, the east, towards the south, and total parts are one hundred and eighty equal parts of each one degree, one hundred and eighty degree total. Right? Now the radius and the length of the parallel guide gradually decreases from its maxima at the equator, the minima at the poles. So this obtain the maxima, maxima at equator. And minima at poles means the maximum distance is seen here, and minimum distance is seen here. Of course, it would be the same. <laughs> Now, the distance between the east latitude is approximately hundred and eleven kilometer. Means one latitude, one latitude distance is hundred and eleven kilometer. Approximation, so we cannot make this symbol equal to 111 kilometer. No, we will have to make this symbol approximate 111 kilometer. This will be wrong, and this will be correct. To so approximate 111 kilometer between two latitudes means one degree, one degree, one degree, one degree, one degree, one degree. One degree. Means how much length? 90 into 111 kilometer. 19 211 kilometer. That much kilometer is this much on this side, and the same on the other side. As Earth represents 360 degree, and the circumference of Earth, I told you 40,000. So circumference was 40,000. It covers 360 degree. 111 kilometer. Like this too, you can find it out. So, thus the distance between the east degree of the latitude is equal to 111 kilometer. To determine the exact position of a place on the globe, the degree is further divided into 60 minute. One minute is divided by the 60 seconds. When I was teaching you the mathematics. Trigonometry. At that time, I had described about the sexagesimal system. Means, this is ninety degree. 
means every this is one degree each, one one degree, one degree, one degree, one degree, like this ninety equal parts means ninety degree. But in one degree, if I will take out one degree, so I have to make it sixty equal parts. This sixty equal parts make the total sixty parts. Each part will cause the one minute, only one bar. And if I will take out one minute, I will make again its sixty equal parts. Sixty parts. Each part will call it the one second double. It means one degree can be rewritten as fifty nine minutes and sixty second. Okay. How sixty second will make one minute, and one minute will be added to the fifty nine. It will make sixty minute. Sixty minute will immediately convert to one degree. Okay, so this is the sexagesimal system. Likewise, we have again divided these to the. So when I was telling you about the location of the Gandhi Nagar, there I had written twenty three dot one two degree north, and Seventy two dot forty one degree east, but this is not a degree. Degree is here twenty three degree twelve minutes, seventy two degree forty one minutes. Some seconds would be there, but they have not defined it clearly. So this will be written as like this. This is degree, then after dot minute, then after dot seconds. Accurate position. Yay. Thank you. Now I will clear it. Forty-two minutes. Yeah. And then I will do my exercise. This is such a heavy subject. It's a big boring subject. I was thinking, children, you are studying for your exams. You are thinking, children, you are studying for your exams. Why are you studying for your exams? Because they knew that if we are studying for our exams, then our time will be good for our exams. और वैसे वो समझ नहीं पाएंगे इसीलिए उन्होंने डिमांड रखी नहीं देख तो कोई नहीं है हमारा यही तो बात है देखता उस समय तो कोई नहीं है और बाद में भी कोई नहीं देखता बहुत ज्यादा व्यूज हो जाएंगे फिर दो चार छह आठ दस बारह एक मैथमेटिक्स ही है जिसमें पचास साठ व्यूज हुआ लेकिन आसान है क्योंकि टांग उठा हो पाई तो हाँ लेकिन तुमने एक गाना सुना ना हिम्मत मेहनत से मुंह न मोड़ मेरे प्यारे मेहनत करो मेहनत फल नहीं कर मन ये वादिकार स्ते माँ पले शुभदाचन गॉड इट समझ गए समझ गए गुड द मेन फाइव पैरल्स ऑफ लैटिट्यूड इम्पोर्टेंट नाउ योर आई लेवल इंक्रीज मेन फाइव पैरल्स Main five pillars of latitude. Latitude के पांच parallel जो main है कौन कौन से parallel main है पहला है equator. कोई देख तो है नहीं ना. दूसरा है tropic of cancer. तीसरा है ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉर्न फोर्थ एंड दैट इज आर्कटिक सर्कल एंड फाइनली फिफ्थ इज अंटार्कटिक सर्कल आर्कटिक अंटार्कटिक फर्स्ट ए सेकेंड नॉट बी ई थर्ड आई फोर्थ ओ फिफ्थ यू वर्स ए आई ओ यू 
How many vowels are there? Five. No, there are six vowels. One more vowel is there. That is why. देखो दुनिया में जितने भी वर्ड बनते हैं दे आर ऑलवेज मेड बाई वॉवेल एंड अंसोनेट वॉवेल मस्ट बी देयर सो इफ इट इज ट्रू देन वट अबाउट द बाई बी वाई बाई बी इज अ कॉन्सोनेट इट मीन्स वाई इज अवेल ट्राई टी आर वाई टी इज अ कॉन्सोनेट आर इज अ कॉन्सोनेट मीन्स वाई इज एक्टिंग एज एज अ वॉवेल so y is the sixth vowel okay but basically there are five vowels when you will be in the ma in english then I mean, you will take english as a subject in ma then you will come to know about this secret facts anyway this is not my topic my topic is equator i will decide the first abhi to padhne do abhi ka kal ki kal dekhi jayegi equator the zero degree latitude divides the earth into the two equal halves this is the only great circle and all other are sim smaller circles it means this is making earth into two equal part so this is called the great circle if it will make it into the three equal parts a smaller circle a four equal part a smaller circle so this is the great circle because this is making two equal parts of earth from the diameter it is doing the diameter is the biggest circle of the sphere so it is the great circle okay now about equator zero degree latitude divides the earth into two equal halves and this is called the great circle and all other are the smaller circles the distance from the equator to the pole is approximately 10000 km this distance approximately 10000 Kilometer approximation. All the latitudes run parallel to the equator towards the north and the south. All the latitude we have seen about it. The rays of the sun fall vertical over the equator almost throughout the year. Vertical over the equator throughout the year means ninety degree on the equator. The distance between the east parallel is hundred eleven kilometer. We have seen. now this is called the equator we have studied well about it now the second part is the tropic of cancer now to make it a tropic of cancer we have to make this diagram of earth this is equator two equal halves in the middle of this towards the north tropic of cancer in the middle of it towards the south is tropic of capricorn upper part arctic circle towards the south lower part antarctic circle this is zero degree and this is 23 and a half degree twenty three the half degree north 23 and half degree south and this is 66 and half degree north and 66 and half degree antarctic circle towards the south north tropic cancer arctic circle equate from the equator towards the north this is the north pole this is the south pole. got it imaginary line
Now, what happens? Tropic of Cancer. This is 23 and a half degree north latitude. It's important as the sun is overhead on 21st June on this latitude. On this latitude, 21st June. This is exactly overhead. Sun. Making it the longest day in the northern hemisphere. The 21st June becomes the longest day. At that time, sun is overhead on this topic of cancer. Topic of Capricorn towards the south, same angle. The sun is overhead at this latitude on December 22. 22nd December, sun. 22nd December, every year. It experienced the longest day on December 22nd. As it is a summer in the southern hemisphere, when the sun shines directly overhead on the topic of Capricorn. Whereas in India, 21st June will be the longest day. As the sun will be the topest of the state on our head that day. Arctic Circle is 66 and a half degree north, Antarctic 66 and a half degree south. This latitude is important because the area within this circle receives the oblique rays of the sun. Oblique rays means sun will be here. Oblique rays. Or here. Oblique rays. Or here. Oblique rays. Arctic circle. Coolest area. So, oblique rays of the sun. Because of the inclination of the axis is experienced six months of the day and six months of the night. Oblique. So, six month day. Six month night. Polar regions. Oh my God. Only day day, only night night. Arctic circles. Because of this inclination, we are teach oblique. Antarctic circuit, the conditions within this circle are the same as those in the Arctic circle. North and the South Pole makes 90 degree north, 90 degree south. The attitude in the form of the point sun rays do not reach here except when the sun is overhead on the topic of Cancer and topic of Capricorn. It means when the sun is here, then light comes here, not here. Not here. When sun is here, 22nd December, that time light comes here, Antarctic circle. Not at that time. It means when sun is here at the Tropic of Cancer, and that time it will be total dark over the Antarctic circle. When in the Tropic of Capricorn, the sun will be there on 22nd December, that time the Arctic circle will be totally in dark. So now, like this, we have studied a lot of important aspect today about the earth. So I have to finish today's top topic. It is almost going to be one hour. Oh, thank you so much. Giving you giving me your valuable time and being a part of today's live stream. Thank, thank you. Subscribe, my subscribe my channel, like my channel and, so, share. and send it, share my channel, send it to your friends channel. and uh, say them to subscribe it and join me from tomorrow, every day.